Hi everyone, welcome to Financial Insights. I'm Linda, your accounting coach. Today, we're going to discuss how to dissect your revenue. Many times we hear from bankers and investors and executive coaches, business coaches, you need to manage your finances. You need to analyze your numbers. Well, what does that mean? We're so into just producing our financial statements. We run them in QuickBooks or whatever accounting software, and then we set them aside. Well, today I want to provide you four tips on how to dissect your revenue. So when we say analyze your numbers, really what we're talking about is peeling back the onion. So when you produce your financial statement, whether that's your bookkeeper account or if you do it yourself, you print them off or maybe you possibly download them and look at them. That's great. You looked at it. Now you want to peel back the onion. So with the revenue, when you look at that revenue number, that total revenue number, what you want to do, number one, look at it by product and service. So if you just produce one product and service, that's easy for you. If you produce more than one product or service, you want to know what product or services is generating revenue. So you want to look by product and service. Most accounting softwares, you can run a report titled revenue by product and service. So for each product and service, it will list out the revenue. Take a look at that. See what's going on. If there's increases or decrease, decreases, and ask yourself, is this what I should be expecting? Number two, look at revenue by customer. And when you look at revenue by customer, look, look at who's, per, who's purchasing, who's not purchasing, and also what are they purchasing. Also, look at revenue by project or revenue by program if you're in the nonprofit sector. This will help you identify the driver. What projects are generating revenue? What projects are not generating revenue? What projects did you think that should be generating revenue, but they're not? Also look at revenue by month. So you're looking at the trend. So you can analyze, are there external factors that are it's affecting your revenue? So for instance, the national economy. COVID-19, is there a, a, some type of shortage? So for instance, during this time, the post office is really behind. So affecting your revenue. So when we say managing your business finances, analyzing your number, think about it, peeling the onion. So if you use QuickBooks, for example, when you run your P&L, that top section is the revenue. When you click on total revenue, it gives you all the transactions that composes of that revenue. Look at those transactions. Look at it by product and service, by customer, by project or program. Ask yourself, number one, is this what I should be expecting? Number two, who's purchasing? What are they purchasing? And number three, who's not purchasing? So remember, focusing on revenue should be our one of our top priorities. We have to be able to stay in business. That's how you stay in business, is by focusing on revenue. Focusing on how can I provide a better product and service to my target audience. So hopefully this is helpful. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our Business Academy for more mini lessons. Take care.